All right, my friends, welcome to another video here. Honestly, I have not been bass fishing or crappie fishing in a while because the Texas heat has made it unbearable. Water temp of like the mid 90s, the real field temp of like 110 probably. But today we got some relief. We got about an inch of rain, which isn't that much, but we got an urban tunnel here. And out here in the main lake, I can feel the water temperature is like still in the 90s in here. It's way, way lower. I don't know what it is, but it's probably more like 70s to 80s because the rain we had today was a lot cooler rain. We've been having so many days where it's been 95 to 100 degrees. This is the first day in probably a month that it's been like 70 degrees. Days like this is when I love to fish. We've got cool water coming in, a little bit of cloud cover. All those fish that were dormant in deep water will come up to shallow and be more active. We're gonna try and catch them in here. Thank you for watching. Oh boy, that's a fish. That's a good fish. What is that? What is that, man? It's a catfish. That gun. Well, I wanted that to be a big crappie. sitting outside. Oh my gosh, you're come on. Giant, giant. So I really think this is awesome guys. You can see in the line and the rod just when this fish destroys that lure, right there. You can see the line goes slack. That's that fish destroying that lure and then that hooks it. Oh my gosh, you're come on. Giant. Giant. That was insane. Oh my goodness. Look at that fish. That was so cool. What a monster. Look at this guys. I casted that all the way up in there. I hope you could see the thump on the rod because that fish just thumped the thing about a second after it hit the water. That was awesome. Look how perfect that fish is. That's a six cents fishing prawn on a one eighth ounce jig. Once again, that fish is just a torpedo. That is so cool. That guy has been filling up on shad. He is just fat. There's one, yes. Took us forever to get bit in there. What do we have? Oh, 
Big crop. Big crop. On my absolute furthest cast possible back there, we got that guy. Just like that bass, he's back there eating shad minnows. That guy destroyed it. That guy destroyed it. Come here. Look at this little fish. Look at the shape he's in. He's crazy. I was literally sitting here wondering if I had enough footage to make a video and that guy bit. What we've got here guys, we've got water pushing out of this tunnel. It's creating a little bit of back eddy on this side and it's coming out from that side and these fish are sitting right here in this back eddy. Another good sized fish. This one's blind as well. He's got a cool birthmark right here. He was sitting right outside the tunnel enjoying that cool water. All right guys, that is it for me today. This summer fishing can be so brutal and honestly, it's hard for me to go out when I know I might only get one or two bites all day in this terrible heat. But days like today are so awesome. I'd literally rather fish one day like today than three or four days in the heat. And as you guys could see, some of those bigger fish had moved up into shallow spots, into spots where cool water was coming in. It's crazy what one little rain and a little bit lower temperatures can do. Get those fish in the mood for eating, get them up shallow, get them active, and you guys can capitalize on that. Six cents fishing prawn on a one eighth ounce jig head was the ticket today. Thank you guys for watching. You know I appreciate it.